I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about how to answer algebraic inequalities and word problems. Now, as you know, word problems can be a little bit of a bear to uh, solve, but uh, when it comes to inequalities, there are some actually some code phrases that'll help you set up the inequalities and be able to solve them rather easily. Now, as you know, with inequalities, you're working either with greater than, less than, as well as greater than or equal to, less than or equal to. Now, when it comes to the word problems uh, for these inequalities, Sometimes they can be very, very obvious. In other words, if they say greater than or greater than or equal to, less than or less than or equal to, you would definitely know which symbols to use because that's about as straightforward as it gets. But when it comes to certain phrases, here are some more very popular ones that they often use. You might see the phrase at least. Now, at least, for example, when we say at least four or at least 12, we're talking about that number and above. Now, when it comes to at least, that's associated with the greater than or equal to symbol because at least means it's starting from that number and work your way up. So it's going to be all numbers greater than or equal to that particular value. Now, on the other hand, you might see the phrase at most. At most pretty much implies that you cannot exceed that particular number. So that number can be included, but it can exceed, can not be more than that number. So at most, it's associated with the less than or equal to symbol. Now, you may also see the phrase no more than. No more than is another way of using the less than or equal to symbol. But when it comes to solving and answering inequalities, with word problems, you really have to look at what the phrases and what the words are, and that'll give you an idea as to what symbols to use. It's all about taking the words and phrases and transforming them to the appropriate symbols. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's a little insight as to how to answer algebraic inequalities and word problems.